This is Professor Darif Seitz. Trigonometry Transformations. If we look at one of the trig functions like sine of x, there are transformations that can be applied to it, and here's the summary of it right here. If you take a times the sine of bx minus c, notice the parentheses there, it's the sine of that expression bx minus c plus d. That's the transformation general form that we'll be looking at here. Then we have some formulas that make it easy to know uh, what the effect is. There's some sliders that I use to make these uh, graphs, and they're set at particular values right now for this presentation. Here in orange is the sine of x, the standard sine function, and we'll look at a sine of bx minus c plus d, where a is 2, b is 3, c is 1, and d is 1, and we get this blue graph, a variant of sine, a transformation. And what's happened to it? Well, something called the amplitude, which is always positive, becomes the absolute value of A. And what does amplitude mean? Amplitude is if it's how far these waves deviate from their central axis. <clears throat> On the sine, it goes up one and down one. So its amplitude is 1. On this version here, the amplitude is 2. If we look at its central axis, it, it's actually shifted. We'll see that the central line that everything waves around is right here. The line y equals 1, and it goes up 2 and down 2 on either side. So that's called the amplitude, how far away it gets on either side of this central wave line. Next is the period gets changed. The new period becomes 2 pi. The old period, in this case it's, it's the old period which for sine is 2 pi. You have to take whatever function it is. Sine and cosine is 2 pi. Tangent is pi. Period is 2 pi over b. Since b is 3, it would be 2 thirds pi. It will repeat. So you can see it's kind of compressed in. It's not the normal 2 pi period. It's, it's compressed. The um, phase shift, which is the horizontal shift, how it moves horizontally in relation to its simple starting sine function, is given by the formula C over B. In this case, it would be 1 over 3, 1 third. So it shifts one third to the right. And if you can see the at zero here is the old one. And remember, this is pi over two. So it shifts one third over uh, from where the other one was. And um, yeah. So anyway, back to what we're talking about. The vertical shift, it's up or down is d. And d here is 1. So it's shifted up by 1. Remember the axis for the regular sign goes through here uh, between negative 1 and 1. You have to move everything shifted up so now the axis is no longer the x-axis. It's now one uh, horizontal line up at y equal 1. So this is nice because if you take note of these <coughs> formulas, you can quickly understand the effects of these transformations and see them in the graphs of the transformed functions.